Got a litter of kiddos and can't figure out what vehicle to buy? Well, here are some recommendations for you. Welcome to another episode of The Shortlist because apparently everything can be put into an itemized and numbered format for easy digestion. So what are the best vehicles for families? Well, that depends on what kind of family you've got. There are big families and small ones, fashion-forward families, and eco-friendly families. So rather than, like, recommending 10 of the 18 million crossover vehicles available today, we mixed things up a little by selecting the best vehicles for different kinds of families. For your typical everyday family that can live with a four-door car, Honda's Accord cannot be beat. It's probably our favorite model in the sedan segment. The Accord has a roomy and high-quality interior, tons of standard equipment, including Honda Sensing, that's the automaker's suite of advanced driver aids. It also offers a pair of refined turbocharged engines. Now, the Accord is safe, efficient, and reasonably fun to drive. For a sedan, it just about does everything. But for all its virtues, that Honda is still a mass-market model. Certain families demand more luxury and extra slathering of prestige. And for them, we wholeheartedly endorse the Mercedes-Benz E-Class wagon. It's far more versatile than your typical four-door, and it seats up to seven. Beyond that, it's beautifully finished inside and out. Oh, and it even comes with standard all-wheel drive. Now, the entry-level version features a twin-turbocharged V6 that delivers 362 horsepower, but you can also get a super sporty AMG version with 603 ponies and an advertised 0 to 60 time of just 3.4 seconds. Now, that will haul some groceries. And if you've got a second to spare, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you really like our videos, I certainly hope you do, consider clicking on that bell icon so you get an alert whenever we upload something new. Of course, certain families eschew life's finer trappings. They love nothing more than getting down and dirty in the great outdoors. And for these sorts, there's the new Ram 1500, currently our favorite full-size pickup. Rugged, capable, and astonishingly premium across the range, this truck is more versatile than a proverbial Swiss Army knife and a lot less neutral. The maximum payload of some 2,300 pounds and the ability to tow up to 12,750, this Ram has no trouble hauling four-wheelers, loads of gravel, kayaks, you name it. And of course, it can drag massive campers without breaking a sweat. Families that want to minimize their carbon footprint, driving a big, burly, hemi-powered truck isn't going to cut it. For them, we endorse the Hyundai Kona Electric. This vehicle offers all the benefits of a small crossover, like easy maneuverability, decent interior space, and energetic styling, with zero tailpipe emissions and sprightly performance. The Kona Electric is more than capable of roasting its tires if you get too enthusiastic with the accelerator. A standard 64 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack juices a 201 horsepower motor and provides an electric driving range of up to 258 miles. All around, this vehicle is a fine choice. But in some instances, even the little Hyundai Kona might be too much vehicle. An ideal option for families that live in densely packed cities is the Honda Fit. You'd be hard pressed to find a vehicle twice its size that's more versatile than this little runabout. With a wheelbase measuring less than 100 inches and an overall length of around 161, it's a snap to parallel park, maneuver in underground garages, or dart in and out of traffic. A 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine provides up to 130 horsepower, while the second-row magic seat flips and folds to transform this subcompact hatch into a tractor-trailer rivaling hauler. And at the complete opposite end of the spectrum from Honda's fit is the Ford Expedition. This massive body-on-frame SUV is ideal for big families that love big adventures. This is one of the few vehicles on the road today that offers a truly usable third-row seat. In fact, way back there, it's roomy enough for six-foot-tall adults to be comfortable all day long. For even more space, you can step up to the Expedition Max, which is about a foot longer overall and offers commensurately more cargo space. 
No matter the version, you get a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 tuned to deliver 375 horsepower with a walloping 470 pound-feet of torque, all of which gets sent through a 10-speed automatic transmission. Serving fashionable families is the dramatic Kia Stinger. This fastback five-door features sporty styling and an upscale Audi-esque interior. Add in pleasant driving dynamics with reasonable practicality, and you have a vehicle that checks all the right boxes for those that appreciate seeing and being seen. A two-liter turbo four is standard, delivering 255 horsepower, but if you are really in a hurry, opt for the silky smooth 3.3 liter twin turbo V6. It's rated at 365 ponies. An eight speed automatic is used to great advantage across the board, though all wheel drive is offered for an additional $2,200. Families that can't live without a crossover should check out the Subaru Ascent, an excellent all around choice. With three rows of seats and room for seven or eight passengers, this utility can haul copious quantities of both kiddos and cargo. Naturally, all-wheel drive is standard, as is an invigorating 2.4-liter turbocharged engine and a continuously variable automatic transmission. Horsepower clocks in at 260, torque 277 pound-feet. Not only is Ascent the largest Subaru ever built, it's also one of the best vehicles in its crowded segment. Base price is right around $33,000. One option that's sure to appeal to families that don't care about having the fanciest or most stylish vehicle is Ford's Transit Connect Passenger Wagon, our wild card pick on this list. Now, this commercial van turned people hauler features a tall and highly versatile interior with seating for up to seven people. The standard engine is a highly efficient two liter four cylinder delivering 150 horsepower. It's matched to a resourceful eight speed automatic transmission. A 2.5 liter gasser and a 1.5 turbo diesel should also be available for extra powertrain choice. Providing added versatility, you can get either a single top hinged rear door or barn style double doors. It's totally up to you. Rounding things out, our final selection on this top 10 list is the perfect vehicle for road tripping families that love to get out and explore. Hands down, the Chrysler Pacifica is our favorite minivan. It offers style, a premium interior, plenty of passenger comfort, and loads of room for cargo all in one very versatile package. The standard engine is a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 that provides 287 horsepower. It's teamed to a nine speed automatic transmission. But if maximum efficiency is a top priority, FCA also offers a plug-in hybrid powertrain, one that delivers 32 miles of electric-only range and an efficiency rating of up to 82 MPGE. Comfortable, quiet, smooth, and graceful, the Pacifica will happily devour as many interstate miles as you care to feed it. And there you have it, 10 different vehicles for 10 diverse families. What do you think of our selections here? Let us know in the comments down below and we might even respond. Yeah, we can do that now. Anyway, thanks for sticking it out to the end. All right, so you have made it to the end of this video, the 10 best vehicles for families, but what about teenage motorists? Well, good question me. And I've got an answer to that very question because recently we published a list of the 10 best cars for teens. You should totally check it out. It is currently live on the autoguide.com YouTube channel. Give that a look, see if you get a chance.